Well, hello there. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Ah, uh, why is my mic mouse cursor on the screen? What the heck? All right. Well, well, hello there. Welcome. Um, yes, indeed. New recording. I mean, isn't there just always a new recording setup with me with my videos? I think with Genshin, I've been through like honestly four different recording setups. The first recording setup literally just screen recording on the phone. I think the second setup is using QuickTime pro to screen record a little bit better quality but i mean again there's still phone gameplay so the quality isn't gonna be that good third the third recording setup oh my gosh guys it looked really good the past few genshin the past few main genshin videos have been on the good the new recording setup or the good recording setup in which is like a proper windows machine you know proper specs and look good and now we're back to the the poop the poopy the poopy recording setup uh more specifically i'm playing genshin impact on geforce pro geforce pro geforce now on my macbook m1 so yes it is possible to play genshin impact on macbook on, on mac os using geforce pro um that being said though it uh it, there's no Genshin. If there was Genshin, oh my god, if there was Genshin Impact natively for Mac OS, it would be amazing. But no, I have to play it on a kind of a game streaming service. I think that's what what the proper term is. Uh, I've been playing Genshin Impact like this for a while now, but I haven't really paid the... Because uh, you have to for the streaming service. Of course, it comes at a cost. $10 for like the kind of the premium and then $20 for like the super premium. Um, and then with the, the 20 the 20 dollar one is like better graphics like 4k graphics So I'm currently playing with 1080p graphics, which I I think you can definitely see I think you can definitely see those 1080p graphics here um, coming into effect Um, so yeah, what what made me change recording setup? I mean There's a, there's a lot of disadvantages with this recording setup. I did we just get straight into that There's a lot of disadvantages one the video quality I think it's kind of the biggest disadvantage here because I want to make good videos, but I mean this video I mean this video quality definitely better than mobile definitely better than mobile by the way You want to see like what my graphics are The display mode doesn't really do anything with the recording because I'm just recording on screen um, But I guess this kind of matters all this stuff matters everything's on high Except when it comes to motion blur because I have motion blur off. But anyways Yes, just the video quality is just gonna look in It's just not gonna look as good as if I was recording on like a Windows machine a proper Windows machine That's like the first huge disadvantage, right? Um, and then the second disadvantage I mean there's a lot of disadvantages. I'm trying to think of all of them on top of my head The second disadvantage is that I'm limited on the storage of my MacBook because my MacBook Air only has 250 gigabytes and like over a hundred of them is being used for like garbage <laughs> and so I only have like a few I only have like mo a little bit more than a hundred left for like um, Having video files like having video files um, Since the the the, 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 the um, what's that? Just since the quality of these videos aren't actually gonna be super high They're just gonna be based on the screen recording depending on what I do um, they're gonna be pretty they're gonna be pretty large. So unfortunately, I'm limited on this window machine I basically had Unlimited uh, storage for my videos, but on my MacBook again because there's no expandable storage and everything I'm only limited to 100 or a little bit over 100 on the ex on the internal um, the internal Storage another huge digit. Oh, I forgot to set up a timer. Oops <laughs> uh, should, should probably set up a timer. I'm gonna say I'm like five minutes in um, another huge disadvantage um, Is game it, it, it's literally just the game running Again, on the Windows machine, I didn't need to worry about my game running slowly or, or stuff like that, right? Um, hiccups, like lagging. And also, because the Windows machine was strong, when, I re when you do a screen recording, it also needs to take that into account. And so the screen recording also has a... Um, the screen recording also gets... You know, it, the screen recording could mess up and s be slow. If you if you're using a bad device like I'm using a MacBook so like obviously the, the chance that the screen recording itself might stutter not just the game but the screen recording itself 
Um, another disadvantage, obviously, ten dollars. I have to, I have to pay, I have to pay the monthly subscription for GeForce Now. For certain games, like if I want to record Octopath Traveler, it's fine. I just try to finish the Octopath Traveler series in a month. But for Genshin, we're like, there's literally monthly events that, not monthly events, but like there's um, you know, there's an event every six months that you kind of have to do that I kind of want to record. I basically need to keep the subscription up every month. Unless I time the events where like I can skip a month and then do the next month. Um, so that's another disadvantage, right? Um, and another huge disadvantage is when I record on the Windows machine, it's very easy, plug and play, right? All I need to do is record using the GeForce, like this, there's like a GeForce record. I don't even know what it's called, even though I've been using it for a while. The GeForce recording itself, um, with that, I can record video, which is the game video. I can record the game audio, and then I can record mic audio all at the same time. So it was really perfect. Literally, as soon as I finish recording, I can send that file I can I can upload it like that file I didn't need to edit it essentially um similarly I was able to figure out how to do it which I will get to explaining in a little bit how I can do the same thing with my MacBook I literally just figured it out this was like literally just something I figured out um but again I'll get you that but when it comes to the MacBook it's a little bit more oh do you see that do you see that stuttering right there you see the stuttering that stuttering happened um, you know, that happens very, uh, seldom on the Windows machine, but using, you know, playing, playing on my MacBook, for sure it can happen, because again, again, Genshin is, is not, you can't play it on Mac OS normally, so some stuff might not be fully optimized, right? But anyways, with my current recording setup, it's not as easy, I have to record with QuickTime Pro, or QuickTime, yeah, QuickTime Player, and then I have to make sure that the audio input is correct the audio input needs to be um the the game which which you can't natively record internal audio game audio with quicktime player i had to download a i don't know some kind of malware vi malware virus um thing called black hole which i use black hole because black hole records the game audio and then i select the black hole audio as my as my input but then I also have to select my mic as an input, and so now I'm using like a multi-input device. So I have to make sure that I select a multi-input device so that it records both game audio and voice audio. And then I have to consider output because when I'm using Black Hole itself, Black Hole takes the uh, input and um, the output needs to be weird. And so like, uh, for me to do this, if I want to listen to the game audio, I need to make sure that I have to select, I have to I have to select the right output so that I can hear it. But then you guys can also hear the audio of the game and my mic. And so it's, it's a lot. Of it's very complicated. It's very complicated. Um, I'll get to that in a bit of how I figure it out. But that's another disadvantage. And I, you know, those are the, the. I mean, those are a lot of disadvantages. You might be asking yourself, why? Why am I sacrificing so much? So much disadvantages. Why, why? Why don't I just continue recording on the Windows machine? Well, the problem is that Windows machine isn't mine. That's the problem. I had access to it, and I still currently have access to it, if I want to. But if you've been, I don't know, I don't know. If, if there's people out there who like try to shirk lock home and figure it all out, you realize that those those videos that I record on the Windows machine, I only record on certain days. Like I, I don't, I don't, no, I don't have access to that Windows machine every day, and <clears throat> it's just kind of. I want to make everything like by myself. I should probably look into getting a Windows machine, obviously. But like, yeah, I mean that's just that's basically the main reason. It's because I want everything to be done on my terms. I can record whenever I want. Um, and the thing is, I can't even record whenever I want. Uh, certain videos, if you're, if I'm doing mic audio, I cannot record because my mic audio. I should be farming wood. My mic audio. I can't I can't always uh, have I can't always record with my mic and so if you notice that means that uh, certain videos again if you if you pay attention certain videos uh, that have mic audio are recording certain days so I mean there's a lot all right there's a lot but that's the main that's the main advantage for doing it this way is doing it this way also another advantage of doing it this way or like recording it on my own instead of recording it on my Windows machine is that I normally upload, I could upload on the Windows machine, but I normally like uploading on my laptop. And if I record, if I upload on my laptop, that means that I am able to, 
Um, you know, I, w w what I'm trying to say is I like uploading on my laptop, which is what I normally do. Even if I record a video on the Windows machine, I'll transfer that file onto my laptop. But when I transfer that file onto my laptop, it takes a bit of time because I need to take a flash drive. Because it's not like Apple where I can just airdrop it, you know? That's why I like recording stuff on my phone is super nice because I can just airdrop it to my computer and it's super, super easy. But with the Windows machine, if I record a video on the Windows machine, I have to transfer it to a flash drive, which takes some time. And then I have to transfer from a flash drive on a laptop, which takes some time. And then I have to upload it. You see that, I mean, the, the transferring of files, it doesn't have to have to delete the files and everything. It takes a bit of time. While if I just record it straight on my laptop, I can literally record the video. After I finish the recording, in seconds, I can start uploading that video to YouTube. You know, if I'm recording 50 videos, like after 50 videos, the whole transferring back and forth gets, it, it, it consumes a lot of time. So being able to just record and then bam, upload, that's, I mean, that's another like very nice thing. Again, I could upload on a Windows machine, but I don't really want to do that. So yeah, that's, yeah, I, I again, sorry. I wish that I could have better quality videos, but I mean, I know it doesn't look good. like. To me right now, it looks good. Like to me, th this looks good. Obviously, it doesn't look good at the Windows machine, but it looks good enough. But I know when I upload it to YouTube, the thing is another disadvantage of using QuickTime Player is that the videos, um, the videos are recorded, and and the, the, the video file that's being made is a .mov, which a .mov is basically kind of like a Mac OS thing. A lot of Mac OS things like to do it, uh, like to record in .mov, but it's not .mov is not a good universal uh, video file. Uh, it's it's more, uh, kind of a more universal video file is a uh, .mp4s, and because I'm recording th these videos and they're being pushed out as M as .movs, when I upload the .movs to YouTube, YouTube doesn't process it as well as .mp4s, and so that's. I think that's like the main reason why there's a reduction in video quality is because I'm recording these in, M in MOVs and thus the video quality gets worse when I post them on YouTube. While on the Windows machine, those video files get made as MP4s and so when I post it on YouTube, it looks a lot better because I, I, it's just a more universal uh, format and so when I upload to YouTube, I believe, it just looks better. Anyways. Last thing I want to mention is this whole new audio recording setup. I would have loved to figure this out a long time ago because with QuickTime Player, with QuickTime Player, a quick, yeah, QuickTime Player, quick, quick time, yeah, whatever it's called, on MacBook, it's basically, it's on Mac OS, I should say, it's basically a, it's basically software that you can use to record the, basically record your, your screen and whatnot on, on Mac OS. However, it does not record internal audio. And so to re record internal audio, you need uh, another pr other programs, right? And there's a free program called Black Hole, which um, makes it so that it can capture that internal audio and that internal audio can be recorded uh, with the QuickTime player. So basically bypassing the rule that you can't record internal audio. Apple! Why? Why can't we uh, uh, record internal audio? Probably for copyright reasons, so that you can't record, you know, um, music and copyrighted music and stuff like that. I kind, I kind of understand why they did it like that. But anyways, you can still record phone audio, so I can just play uh, music on my phone and then record it on a QuickTime player. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, so and then, and then after that, what you can do if you want to record internal audio, if you want to record external audio, which is uh, like a microphone. You can go with like audio MIDI setup, which again is another like uh, software on, on on Mac OS where you can like play around with the audio stuff. I just had to clear my throat there, and then so yeah, what after that you select black hole, you can, you can select output as like a multi output, or yeah output as multi output with the aggregate device. Or should I say input? I'm sorry, input. I'm, not talking, about, I'm talking about input because I'm talking about mic and in, in game. So yeah, you can talk about you can you can select multiple input. You can select basically um, QuickTime Player to um, record multiple inputs. So using audio MIDI setup and selecting an aggregate device, selecting your microphone that you want to use and black hole. But the problem is before when I did that, 
for some reason and if you want to see a an example that i did go watch my video my uh, minecraft monument of aldrea episode one that video i did what i'm trying to say here where i recorded black hole and microphone but for some reason when i recorded my audio my game audio for some reason was recorded on one side and then my mic audio was recorded on the other side so basically the the the, the audio that you heard wasn't like combined it wasn't like stereo properly stereo it was kind of like one ear had one audio which is the game audio and the other ear had the mic audio but now literally just today i figured out how i could combine them um and so i finally figured out a way to record both the internal audio and the external audio because before what i had to do was i had to record the internal audio um with black hole but then i had to re record the external audio with literally on my phone and then what i would do is i would use my phone and then i would transfer the audio file over and then i would have to sync up the audio i would have to like yeah i have to edit the video where i would put the audio in and sync up the audio but now i figured out how i can record both the mic audio and the game audio at the same time without needing to um sync them up together and so that the audio is perfectly like combined and there's no like okay one the internal game audio is on one ear and then the mic audio is on the other ear i figured out how to combine them um and literally all it was was just dragging i literally dragged one of the output sources to the other side that's all i did on an audio mini setup Anyways, I know that was a long explanation and I know basically I mean I just want to put all that out there just because it's super important to like the lore of the channel Um, basically like what goes on in the background. I think it's super important and, and And yeah, I think I think that's it. I honestly This video has been going on for pretty long and I honestly did want to play some content But I think I won't even play content in this video. This would just be a little like a uh, little background video that I make um, But it's just super important for me to like uh, record it so that I can look back on this video and be like Okay, yeah, that that's some pretty important points that I make because the whole reason why I make this video and, I, and I'm talking about it Is so that I have the reference in the future so I can go back and rewatch it uh, but also just in case if someone else encounters a similar problem or maybe it can help them or whatnot um, Yeah, but I think I'm gonna end this video here then honestly uh, just talking about the new recording setup and uh, it sucks that uh, the, the, the audio call or the video quality will be a little bit worse, but honestly, it's I think it's for the better uh, Until at least until I get a Windows machine, which who knows when when that will happen. So yeah, anyways uh, I think that's, that's, that's it. Next time we'll actually have content, I think. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. You're beautiful the way you are, and I'll catch you in another video. I thought this would be against your video, but in the end, I didn't make it against your video. So, yeah, whatever.